With the rising success of the Nintendo Switch, especially in Japan, a lot of RPGs are being announced for the system. We've seen some great RPGs so far in 2017 and 2018, but there are so many RPGs coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2019, it can be hard to decipher what games are going to be the best. And that's what we're going to figure out in this video. I want to talk about what games I feel are going to be the best RPGs for the Nintendo Switch in 2019. So what games are there to talk about? What games are on this list? Sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's show into the world of RPGs on the Nintendo Switch in 2019. Hey, RGT85. Hey, Sean. Oh my god, it's Stevie Richards! So the first game I want to talk about is Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. Now yes, this game has just recently released on the Nintendo Switch, but it came out in 2019, so we could definitely talk about this game. Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition is of course a remaster of the Xbox 360 title with the same name and is classic Tales gameplay. The combat system is definitely the highlight of Tales games in my opinion, and at times can almost feel like a fighting game with the ability to string together combos and different arts. I'm about 5 hours into this game right now and I've really been enjoying it, and I think it's a very solid entry in the Tales series, and action RPG fans are going to find a lot of fun with this game. Do you like Final Fantasy games? I hope so, because there are a lot of Final Fantasy games coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2019. The next three games we're going to talk about have been given an April 2019 release date and are definitely on a lot of people's radar. First off, I want to talk about Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X-2. Now, Final Fantasy X and X-2 were two highly rated PS2 RPGs that are, of course, coming to the Nintendo Switch. X-2 is a direct sequel from X and follows that same storyline. There are differences in the game, though, such as X-2 being more of an open-world than a traditional JRPG like 10 was. Both games are getting HD remasters and like I said will be coming to the Nintendo Switch in April of 2019 and are definitely games that should be on your radar. Also coming in April 2019 is Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. Fans of action RPGs will definitely want to have Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age on their radar when it drops on the Switch in April. Featuring a massive open world and action style battles, fans of Xenoblade and Ease 8 will probably have a lot of fun with the combat system. You don't have to worry about random battles in this game either, as all enemies can be seen on the map. I think it's a really good looking game. Out of all the Final Fantasy games that are coming to the Nintendo Switch, this is honestly the game I have highest on my radar. It's a game that I'm really looking forward to playing, as I never played it on previous systems, so I'm definitely looking forward to Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. And of course we have two more Final Fantasy games coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2019 with Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy IX. These two PS1 RPG classics are huge fan favorites, and while I do think Final Fantasy VII is a tad overrated in my personal opinion, I can still appreciate the history behind this title coming to a Nintendo platform, as this was a game that was never supposed to be on a Nintendo platform due to the fallout between Squaresoft and Nintendo over the Nintendo 64. Both games feature cleaned up visuals and classic Final Fantasy gameplay, and will probably be a huge hit on the Nintendo Switch. And the final Final Fantasy game we have to talk about is, of course, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition, which is scheduled to release on the Nintendo Switch in 2019. Now, this is a remastered edition of the GameCube Classic that was an action RPG game that featured a lot of co-op play. What's good about the Nintendo Switch version, besides from the improved HD visuals, is the fact that this game will have online multiplayer, so that will be a big draw to a lot of fans. And even if you've played Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles to death, there is going to be some new content in the game as well, such as new dungeons, so it's definitely a game that a lot of people are looking forward to. I think the online multiplayer is going to be really fun, so Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition is the final Final Fantasy game releasing for the Nintendo Switch in 2019. Well, at least so far. Who knows, Square Enix could always announce more. One of the more interesting action RPGs that I reviewed last year for the Xbox One was a game called Vampire, which is coming to the Nintendo Switch now in 2019. Vampire has you playing the role of a doctor who just happens to also be a vampire. The game is based on your decision making. Do you want to kill people and feast on them to improve your vampiric abilities or try and help them out? Vampire honestly surprised me with how much I enjoyed the combat, the setting, and the story of the game, so it'll be definitely fun to revisit this game when it comes to the Nintendo Switch in 2019. 
Fire Emblem is one of the longest running series for Nintendo, dating all the way back to the Famicom. But the past decade or so has definitely seen a big spark in the West with fans loving the Fire Emblem franchise. While mainstays on handheld platforms, Fire Emblem hasn't seen a console release since the Wii, but all that is changing with Fire Emblem Three Houses. With tried and true Fire Emblem strategy RPG gameplay, the game looks absolutely fantastic, and strategy RPG fans should feel right at home with the latest entry in the series. What happens when you mix the world of Dragon Quest and Minecraft together? You get the Dragon Quest Builder series. Much larger than its predecessor in the series, Dragon Quest Builders 2 takes place in an alternate version of Dragon Quest 2 that was released on the NES and Famicom. Gameplay improvements such as vehicular transportation, 4-player multiplayer, and a higher stackable block limit should make for a more robust experience when this comes out on the Switch in 2019. This next game is shrouded in a bit of mystery, but it's a game that I'm actually really looking forward to. I love the visual style of the game, and although we haven't seen too much about it, it's definitely a game that I'm looking forward to hearing more of, and that is Town. Coming to us from Game Freak, the company behind a series you might have heard of called Pokemon, Town looks like a really unique RPG experience. Taking place, well, in a town, the town in town, say that three times fast, is now overran by large monsters, and you must take them out. Allegedly, the whole game takes place within this town, so it'll be interesting to see how this turns out and just how big the town actually is. Not much is known about this title from Game Freak, but it's definitely a game to look out for in 2019. Of course, you can't talk about Game Freak without talking about Pokemon, and there is a new mainline Pokemon game coming to the Nintendo Switch in 2019 as well. After the sales success of Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, and Eevee on the Nintendo Switch, featured here in this video clip, the next mainline Pokemon game has people salivating at the prospect of a massive HD Pokemon experience. Nothing is really known about this title though, although it is scheduled to release sometime, probably around the holiday season of 2019. Yo-Kai Watch was a series I never really got into on the 3DS after trying two games in the series, but Yo-Kai Watch 4 looks so cool that honestly I might have to give it another chance. Yo-Kai Watch sort of plays like Pokemon, but what's really gravitating me towards this tile has to be the visual style of this game. This game looks absolutely gorgeous, monsters look huge and massive, and many are hoping that the mainline Pokemon game for 2019 takes a similar direction in terms of graphics. I'm really curious to see what Yo-Kai Watch 4 brings to the table, and I think it's a game that I may end up enjoying a lot more than I anticipate. If the classic Final Fantasy games coming to the Nintendo Switch weren't enough, Grandia 1 and 2 will also be getting an HD remaster for the Nintendo Switch as well in 2019. Although admittedly I'm not too familiar with the first entry in the series, which released on the PS1 in the States and also in the Saturn in Japan, Grandia 2 on the Dreamcast is one of my favorite RPGs ever. It's classic turn-based JRPG gameplay, but with an interesting story and unique characters as well. The gameplay shown here is from the Dreamcast version of the game, which I feel still holds up till today, so it'll be awesome to see how these two RPG classics turn out with some HD polish. Superhero and action RPG fans have one of the biggest titles of 2019 to look forward to on the Nintendo Switch, and that is of course Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. A franchise that many thought to be dead, Nintendo revealed Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 exclusively for the Nintendo Switch at the Game Awards 2018 to the delight of superhero and action RPG fans. The Marvel Ultimate Alliance series is based on the Marvel Ultimate Alliance series is based in the Marvel Universe and features fast and frantic gameplay for up to four people at once, with a leveling system to keep things fresh throughout. Not too much is known about the latest entry in the series, but if the past entries are indicative of what to expect, expect a damn good time with a huge variety of Marvel characters taking place within the Marvel Universe. Now before we wrap up this video, there are three other games that I wanted to briefly cover because these games are anticipated to come out in 2019, but we don't really have any confirmation of that. The first game I want to talk about is Dragon Quest XI-S, which is the latest entry in the Dragon Quest series, which released last year, and it looks absolutely fantastic. We actually saw some gameplay of the game running on the Nintendo Switch. It looks really great, and I'm really fo looking forward to seeing if this game releases in 2019 in the West for the Nintendo Switch. You also have Shemagami Tensei. This is a game that has been talked about 
out a lot for the Nintendo Switch when it was initially first unveiled, and then it just kind of got quiet. A lot of people are expecting this to be a 2019 release, though, and I think that's a pretty safe bet. And finally, you of course have the potential of a new Legend of Zelda game. It seems like Nintendo wants to do more Zelda games and possible HD remasters or even remakes, and a lot of people are anticipating a Skyward Sword HD remake to be unveiled in 2019 for the Switch and possibly releasing in the same year, and I think that's a safe bet. That's definitely a game that was sort of pigeonholed on the Wii, so I would really look forward to seeing Skyward Sword HD come to the Nintendo Switch. All right, and so those are the best RPG games for the Nintendo Switch in 2019. Now, I'm sure I missed some games on this list because there are a lot of RPGs coming out in 2019, so let me know in the comments section down below what RPGs you are looking forward to, whether they are on this list or whether I might have missed them. Let me know in the comments section down below so maybe I can put some of those games on my radar. The Nintendo Switch being a portable system that is able to do console-like games is just so great to me because I love playing RPGs portably, and it's great to experience all these RPGs on a system that has power like the Nintendo Switch does. So let me know in the comments section down below what games you're looking forward to and thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.